metres, top of this famous Ellerslie home straight. So I'm a bay boy goes forward, ladies and gentlemen, stand by. Let's bring it on. Gates crash open. They're off and racing in the Telecom New Zealand Derby of 2010. One of the first away, Volgus towards the inside. Military movers going forward with smoke and gun. Handsome Zuli straight onto the speed as well. Martial art is handy. No emotion came out next. Monaco Consul's working up out three and four wide. Out widest of all, King Raid will then follow I'm a Bay Boy as they come down towards us looking to jockey for positions. Settling handy as well as timekeeper. That five foot six deep out in front. He's eased off on Monaco. Consul's going to steady him behind them. Back near the rear now is going to be back second or third last is Katie Lee's back about midfield here as they work up the rise, leaving the straight. Then no emotion got back. Valley Bit is next. Two lengths away, Jungle Juice, Corporal Jones. And Zazu has been dropped out to the tail by James McDonald. Into the back they go by the 1600 metres and Timekeeper takes it up. Led by one length and immediately slammed on the anchors. Military move a second. On its outside, King Raidwell has worked over to be one off the rail. Out three wide. I'm a Bay Boy. Handsome Zulu's fifth on the inside of Smoke and Gun. Monaco Consul, no move from Innes. Back midfield on the outside of Martial Art. Three lengths away, Katie Lee covering up Volgus. Two and a half, no emotion. Then Belly Bit follow three back, then two Jungle Juice. Then back on long side of it is Corporal Doug Jones. And the second favourite, Zazu Whaler, is last of all. Fifteen lengths off the leaders. Up on top of the rise they go in the Telecom New Zealand Derby of 2010, a thousand metres out. And the leader is Timekeeper still stacking them up. I'm a Bay Boy second. Military movers next. No one's prepared to move. Lying fourth is King Raidwald. Here goes Monaco Consul, the first to track into the race out three wide. Hanson Zulu's next at the 700 metres. Then Smoke and Gun, Katie Lee. In behind these next is Martial Art getting shuffled back. Then followed round by Belly Bit. Well back also. Zazu Ayla. It'll be a sprint home. Well back is Corporal Jones. Jungle Juice. Vulgus and no emotion as they come towards the 10. 500 metres out on the derby. Timekeeper has dictated to the play. Monaco Consul's run off on the home turn, the favourite. He's gone to the outside. The pacemaker is timekeeper. Too clear for military moves. The first to challenge. Running on then out wider. We've got Handsome Zulu followed by Martial Art. Zazu Ayla starting to appear. And here's Corporal Jones down the outside. 200 metres to go. Military move. The one to catch. Corporal Jones is storming with Handsome Zulu. Military move in front for Mickey Walker. Corporal Jones can't pick it up. It's a Cambridge Derby. Military move and Mickey Walker have won it. Second, it's close here between Corporal Jones and Rockland and also Henson Zulu. Then followed Zazu Wayla. Timekeeper was next. Further away as they went across the line would have been Marshall Art, then Jungle Juice. Further back in the field, no emotion. Belly Bit with it also was I'm a Bay Boy, Monaco Consul. Oh, ouch. She backed, uh, went wide on the home turn. King Raidwell was well back with Volgus. Smoking gun and Katie Lee's pulled up quickly after the line as well. Michael Walker and Sean Ritchie have combined with Military Move, owned in Hong Kong by Stephen Kitsing Low, to take out our feature this afternoon, the Telecom New Zealand Derby. What a ride! But they couldn't get Military Move. Who said the Voltsrads can't stay? The three year old son of Voltsrad, an all night party. And what a moment for Sean Ritchie, the strapper to that wonderful galloper in Bone Crash, the winner of this race many years ago. A very emotional Michael Walker here after the 2010 derby. Talk us through it, bro. The best run. Um, I knew I was going to win top of the stream. I got up the horse Tuesday, mate. I thought I could win, honestly win the race. But I was only the pilot. Mr Ritchie, the training he's done is fantastic. Probably no one thought this horse could stay. Maybe a mile, 2,000, but not today. He's done a tremendous, fantastic job. He deserves all the thanks. Like I said, mate, I'm only the pilot. I hope my kids are watching. Case and Layla, I love you guys. I love you with my heart. Yeah, I'm sure they will be, Michael. And listen, this is what it's all about, mate. This is why we do it. The emotion, the raw emotion. You've had your ups and downs. You're at a seven little bugger, mate. I'll give you that. <laughs> mate, um, my dream's always been to win a, a derby in a Oaks in New Zealand. I've got my dog and uh, a huge thanks to my new manager, Hugh Crawford. He's did an amazing job to get me this horse. You know, uh, Noel Harris rode the horse last time. Not many managers can get under Noel Harris's neck. <laughs> he managed to and, mate, like I said, I was a pilot. I just got to thank the Richies and, and the owners, you know, for putting me on this horse. It's amazing and this feeling, <laughs> Tommy.
I want to stop crying there. <laughs> I'd like you to get these on. Well, I tell you what, mate, no one's going to deny you cry today, Michael. Away you go as we throw to Steve Davis. All right, with me, Sean Ritchie. Sean, you've come of age. You were here as a strapper with Bone Crusher. You're now the trainer of your own derby winner. Yeah, well, you know, more to the point, my grandfather was beating a nose in this race by, uh, by David Peake, who was inducted to Hall of Fame last night. Uh, he had a mighty horse, my grandfather, terrific. He was beating a nose. Dad got square for Bone Crusher, so uh, I'm just pleased to be part of the eulogy. Yeah, well, I tell you what, it panned out with the barrier draw. You indicated during the week you were going to go forward. From the barrier draw, you got the nice soft trip. He really hasn't had a lot of luck. You know, there's probably a lot of horses in the race uh, that haven't. But uh, you know, he needs a good track. He needs a good draw. It was a superb ride, and they slowed down in the middle stages. And as great a filly as Zaz the way it clearly is, she's giving us a big start, and uh, it's very hard to do that. So we got the right race, the right day. So uh, that was terrific. Yeah, we Sean Ritchie there, who trains military move for Stephen Kitting Low who uh, owns a horse in Hong Kong. Congratulations to you. This one was bred by Windsor Park Stud, was originally bought for $75,000 at the select sale of 2008. And as this race panned out, really fell into the hands of Military Move and Michael Walker. Better supported runners, Corporal Jones and Zazuela. They got back and how things pan out didn't really suit them. Boy, they really made good ground in the finish, but it was this horse and the dancing Michael Walker, extremely emotional. He's been through so much. He won his first Group 1, the Wellington Cup, the 27th of January 2001, aboard a horse called Smiling Like for Sir Patrick Hogan. He announced to the racing world that he was here. He went to Australia and he managed to win the Conrad Treasury Brisbane Cup on Dane Storm in 2004. And it wasn't so long ago that he fell down a bluff in a pig hunting accident. And that put his career on indefinite hold. He's been back riding and has been building into season 2009-2010, but this really putting an exclamation mark on it. Military move at $15.80 and $3.60, taking out the Telecom New Zealand derby. And uh, the emotion of Michael Walker, well, you don't see it too often. But there, seeing it today. Let's go back to Steve. Yeah, thank you, Jason. I'm here with uh, Frank Ritchie. This is going to be a special moment for you. Oh, absolutely, Steve. It's fabulous. You know, my dad got beaten in this race by a half a head, but terrific. And, uh, and, and Blyton got beaten a head in, in, in the New Zealand derby. And one thing I always want to do is sort of pick it square for the family if you wish was to win. When Bowen Crusher won it, I felt great. Look, this is just as great. You're a close family. You, you communicate with one another. You've obviously been giving some instruction to him. Is he coming to you for some advice? Well, we, he, we, we work in the same property, as you know, and uh, yeah, we talk all the time. And Craig rings too, and if we have horses that need a bit of beach, we send. So we do all work in, in close, uh, close contact, and yeah, and, I, and I'm sure that helps us. Yeah. Certainly worked out particularly well. It's a proud moment for the Ritchie family. And following on, of course, the induction, inductee of the Bone Crusher the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. It's been a weekend to remember, and, and I'm sure we're going to celebrate at night and then some, Steve. Yeah, you like that red wine. You get Make sure it's a good bottle, though, eh? I'm going to make sure it's a good bottle, yeah. Ha, ha, ha.